everybody, welcome back to Padfoot TD Games. My name is Zach, I'm the voice behind the icon, and today we are back in American Truck Simulator once again. And we are here with some company driving for some day cab action with Coca-Cola. So, I'd said in one of our last videos, I think it was with Walmart, that I was going to be jumping in and just getting a regular small little day cab, probably something that was in the game, which is this Kenworth 680. And just getting a smaller, this is a 33 foot trailer that we could do just local deliveries with. You're also going to see in this um, one that's even smaller when we start going down into the cities. It's that 22 foot um, reefer so we can be delivering, uh, you know, these are stuff that you'd see on roadsides and just quick trips. So today is going to be a quick one. That's why we're starting at the garage. We're going to go to, I think, Walmart. We're going to be picking up something random i think it's like empty pallets but we're going to say we're loading up with coke and we're going to be bringing it to a local walgreens all here in eugene oregon uh we'll be moving our base of operation up to washington starting next week as we get washington on our side as it were you're welcome for anybody who gets that reference oh, i love it look at the maneuverability that we have i can go anywhere <laughs> used to the giant 60 foot freaking uh, feather lights. I like this garage a lot. It's away from everything. Volvo dealership there. I was thinking about making it a Volvo, but this one was just easier. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know that I am. Yet again, driving a company truck. Oh, it looks so small. It's so funny. Um, but yeah, I think that, by the way, I think that's the Walgreens we're going to, which I love this Walgreens because it's just got a nice big loading area in the back. But they need Coke, damn it. And we will be happy to give it to them. Yeah, I hope you guys are having a good day. It's currently Monday for myself. I'm not sure when you will see this. Um, but yeah, we're week two of summer vacation. Not that anybody's counting, but I 100% am counting trying to get as much as I possibly can out of every day that I get where I can just rest, recharge, make videos for you guys, and that's how I like to rest and recharge. Uh, what are we looking for here? Still a red light? Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just... Um, I was burnt out from the work year. Um, a lot of stuff kind of happened all at once. And, you know, there, there's something, you get discouraged by something, and then it just kind of, it seems to be one thing after another, and then if performance slips in this line, you're just like, all at once, and you're like, cool, that doesn't help at all. So I'm looking forward to going into next year, feeling a lot more positivity. Hoping to be able to keep on track with one uh, video a day for you all. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> I used to letting it drift that far. Ooh, super tight turn. I thought we were going to be a bigger ramp, but all right. <clears throat> yeah, what I'm excited about doing just short little runs with you guys. Hopefully you don't mind. I, I do like being a, a freelancer, um, but company driving, especially quick day trips like this. We we might even get two in in this episode. I have no idea how long it's going to be. It's, it's early in the morning. It's 6.53. We've already used some of our hours uh, in another video. So yet again, these have been all kind of short jump around trips, but I really wanted to get back up here into Oregon. I am speeding. There's some cops around. As we head to Eastern Eugene, I think. Maybe I didn't read that sign back there. That's all on me. We've got a lot of content that we're gonna be making for you guys this summer a lot of vlogs as well um hopefully you don't mind those they're they're a lot of fun because uh one it's it's content and when i really want to try to give you guys one a day uh it gives you a little bit of insight what our life's like and what my life is like uh having a service dog with me and we're hoping to make the vlogs this course going to be the racing ones where you won't see ella a lot and you know xyz but Oh, are we going to that Walmart that I love? I think we are. That's exciting. Um, but 
but uh, yeah, we're, we're going to try working to incorporate more of what Ella does for me and try making more about you, uh, about you, <laughs> about you guys seeing uh, what she's doing and what her job is. Uh, not just, oh, look at these little places we get to go and now, uh, hey, look, there's a dock there that I swear does something. Um, it's always nice to be able to give you guys a little bit more than that. Of course, a lot of games, a lot of co-op with Danielle as well. Uh, I'm very excited to get those streams back into the light. I see, I like this area. So anyway, we're not here a lot, but I kind of like this, this back area, this industrial area. It's really neat. trailer being open. Very rarely have I not used the sleeper. Alright. Walmart warehouse. Here we are. Good way to start our day. Pick up at uh, around, I'd probably say it'd be 8 o'clock. Cargo market. We're bringing TVs. I mean, soda drinks. Oh, why? If, if they let me do a reefer in the game, you figure. Give you reefer jobs? I don't know. Off we go. Your flash is on. One of the greatest things about having a small cab is that it's just so nice to park. Not going to do this on the blind side. Oh, wheel's getting away from me here, so bear with me as I... Yeah, just load me up with those. What do you think those are? I'd say they're drinks, but why would you be having them sit outside? I thought the game froze. I didn't see it flashing anymore. I was like, really? Not gonna clip it. Not used to driving such a short cab. <laughs> Maneuverability is amazing. I'm just not used to having it. Good, but that's okay. It says that we're set. I'm happy with that. Load us up with beverages. Definitely not televisions. All right. Back down the road to Walgreens we go. Sun's up enough now. Don't need... Shows you how much I'm able to pay attention. All right, let's get ourselves out here. We've already driven 44 miles today. I don't know. I, I like I like some day runs as long as we can keep them nice and short. Be happy anytime we can actually get beverages. So that's what I'll be happy about. Well, that's 
It's all on me. 100% all on me. I looked left, didn't look right, thought it was clear. And it wasn't. Let's get ourselves over here. I'd say I'd call the distributor, but uh, I'm pretty sure I could just walk on over. Yep. Yeah, I hit a guy. Yeah, no, he's alright. He left, so, um... Yeah, I could probably just left out. Yeah, no. Now report it. Don't do any paperwork. It's my first day on the job driving for Coca-Cola. Perfect. Thanks, Walmart. Good, so I'm glad that we were able to get that uh, squared away. And let's get ourselves back on the road. <laughs> I can't believe it. First, first trip right out of the yard and just completely crash into somebody. And I, I always say that I try to keep some sort of realism here. Uh, apparently, look. Look. Look again. See, there is nobody around. There's one car up there in front of us, and we have to find the one car and completely just crush it. Good job. We're also on the road with a million stomp signs. Alrighty. I'm really excited about Washington, by the way. That's, I was like, hmm, what are we going to talk about today? So, I know what we're going to talk about. We are going to talk about Washington coming here to American Truck Simulator. Now, here's the thing. By the time you see this, it's already out. But it's a day before when I'm filming this, so that's why, that's why I want to talk about it. Don't enter there. So, I'm really excited about it. Why? It does expand our map, and I know they're working like tirelessly, trying to get as many states out as they can, keep the popularity of the game, and selling content. Thank you, SES, for doing so. You gotta admit, when it first came out, they were still working on it. But now, excuse me, sorry, big yawn. Um, but now, the faster that they're able to get content out, as long as they don't lack quality, we already like the base game. We've got mods out there that allow us to do the rest of the United States. We use it constantly. You guys know that. So, it's it's really nice when we have the ability to get content made by them. Like, look, look around. This is way more beautiful than anybody else can make because they have to use pre-made assets. And SES, obviously, it's their game. They can do it from scratch. So I would love to see more come out. But the things that make me very excited about uh, Washington is the ferry system. It's very common. It's more common, I would say, when connecting to Alaska. And that's a whole other world that I don't want to see them get into yet. I would love it. Don't get me wrong. Not yet. Not yet. Because they want... Excuse me. Because I want them to do it right, and I don't know if they can yet. Um, or at least the southern part of Alaska. I guess that would be okay. Ferry there. Trucks like this. Like little ones. Um, but yeah, you know, I'd like to see that. Um, so I'm excited about that. I'm excited about doing dock work. Um, doing a lot of cargo from uh, the port of Seattle and distribution around. That is definitely... Strongly recommend it. Cool. <laughs> oh my god. Always, always when we're up here in Oregon. Shoot. Okay. Well, we got a detour. You know, I, I might get a screenshot. This might be a good one. Uh, right up. Here, I'll be right back. All right, a little bit of a detour here. Are we able to see what went, what went wrong? I see two cars. I'm going to assume somebody got real screwed up. So how much longer is this delivery going to be now? We've just added four hours onto our time. Okay, well, we would definitely be calling the shipper because it was not supposed to be this long. Uh, but this happened last time, and it's a little bit of a kick in the teeth because I love, I love the random events. Um, but it always seems to happen on this road where you have to go about 18,000 miles down the road to be able to finish your delivery. So it, it's, it's a little aggravating. But I would contact the shipper and just be like, hey, uh, there's a detour on, I don't remember what highway's back there, the 14 or something. Um, it's causing me to have to go down the 5 down really freaking far uh, to be able to get over, so we are going to be late with our delivery. 
it also kind of makes me go um, I love that there's a massive highway system in the game keeps it right there keeps it uh, keeps us happy with that oh hey that'd be a fun delivery uh, I deal with hay every day so <laughs> my horses so um, it's one of those things where I, I wish there was more back roads and I hope you know there's a lot of back roads here I hope that's something that we get in Washington going back to Washington the ferry system it's, it's exciting the port work is going to be uh, also exciting really looking forward to that the other thing I'm looking for is more in depth and longer log roads I really do enjoy doing the logging in the game uh, hoping to get back into that just I can't find a good logging truck that I want to use so um, that, that kind of sucks um, because the one I originally used is actually no longer compatible. Uh, there's probably a new update out. I, I will look at that. And you will tell because if there's a locking video coming out, you will see it. Uh, but it gave us the ability to do some shorter runs. I know this is a company truck, but I bet you I can get a little bit more out of it. I always feel like there's a limiter. I know there's not. But imagine that if you could be like, this is a company truck and limit it at like 55 miles an hour. <sighs> that detail. Awesome. Enraging. Nike, just do it. Not a fan. Never been a fan of Nike. Looks like a bus broken down over there. Slow down, 60. Uh, still, the one thing I will say, it, it does suck doing all this extra distance, uh, but it does look real good. Kind of does look good for our paycheck, though, because if we're getting paid by the mile, we've just tripled it. Inspection station up. I think that's what you're telling me here. Yep. Do I have to stop? Because that wasn't originally on my route. Can you give me any information? We're getting stopped. Fantastic. And I guarantee there might be one on the other side, too. Yes, there is. So I wonder if we're going to get stopped twice. We should be okay. We're such a small rig. I'm not really that worried about it. It's brand new, too. Only got 131 miles on it. Interesting that this is a bypass. It also looks like there's a police chase over there, because so, there's a helicopter up in the air, so... Keep an eye on that, too. To pass the inspection, press Enter. 61,000? I doubt that. I really do. Regardless. Off we go. Past inspection. Off to Medford we go. Okay, he's letting us in, which is awesome, but then we're going to run right up into this. There's a cop over there with that truck. Is that... And then there's something over here, too. Man, it is a crazy day here on the highway. Oh, yep. Just caught it off that Land Rover. That should be fine. Jeez. Always. It always feels like when I want to do a short video. This was supposed to be like a 16-minute video. Here we are almost at 19 minutes. <laughs> and we've still got uh, nine minutes to go, at least. And that's not even including backing it in. Or getting up to speed. Uh, I I like the events. I think they're just gonna work on them just a little bit more. But yeah, that's what I look forward to more or less. And uh, and Washington, and just of course more area to see and more asset. Here's the thing, and more assets when it comes to the people who make the coast to coast map. I love the coast to coast map. We use it a lot here on the channel for American Truck Simulator, NASCAR. Style. Excuse me, when we bring our Arizona Pro Racing Series car from coast to coast. Uh, really excited to have IK9 back on for this next season, by the way. Just figured I'd give a little uh, iRacing shout out. Um, they are actually sponsoring all of our vehicles this time around, uh, as well as Subway being a sub sponsor. As, and Coke Zero, of course. Definitely got some of that in the back as well being on the car this summer. You guys will be seeing videos here and there. I'm actually going to be running seven. 
Is it? No. Hold on. SK modified. Ooh, wheel modified. KN Pro Stock. Late model. Eight. I'm running. Yeah, I'm running eight divisions this year. Son of a bitch. Please talk about that. Of course, the cop was there, or I would have been in the right lane. Anyways. Okay. Here's our turnaround point. Beautiful, giant ass truck stop. Oh, I love it. Wish we had time to uh, stop and take a peek. Uh, but we definitely do not, because <laughs> we need to get ourselves to our destination. I was not expecting it to take this long anyways. We added a lot more time on. Thank you guys for sticking through it, and if you are new to the channel, thank you as well. You never know what's going to happen in American Truck Simulator now, but at least it's keeping it feeling like real life with uh, unexpected <laughs> events and uh, things just slowing you down. That moment life is all about. Heading back towards Eugene. Not even worried about gas mileage at this point. Just want to get the product there. On to the highway we go behind FedEx. Uh, just it's it's frustrating because it's like, damn it, it's so frustrating to have to come all the way back down here. There's an opening. I'm taking it. Oh, sorry. That's a big young. Big, big opening. Taking it. Yes, you can go over into the left lane. Let me get out of the left lane first. Um, and fingers crossed we don't get stopped at the, the way station again. We are just checked. Literally, just been like, hey, we were just over there. We were 61,000 pounds. We're good. I mean, I could send a paper airplane over. I'll walk over with a paper and get their signature saying that they just saw us. Because <laughs> I don't want to stop again want to keep our momentum going finish this up we probably got other deliveries that we've got to do today we don't have time for that of course this will push all of our other deliveries back so that's going to suck as well block that speed at 62 enjoy the mountains there's even a cell tower up there stop stop gun violence you, for me, for us, and for our children. Interesting signs. Yes, we do, we do have new advertisements in the game. This is the other size trailer I'm talking about, by the way. Um, the super small one. Uh, we're going to be doing that if we go back down to the city or we go anywhere that's uh, a little bit more dense. Um, and the reason why is I love this trailer because it is nice and small. I do like the small one. The reason I chose this one is, yes, this is the smallest one that you can get drop gate on the back, so if we wanted to park out by the street, we could, and uh, use that drop gate to get the product down to the street level. Let's get back in the cab so we stop driving so erratically. 70 is now the new speed limit. We'll start speeding ourselves up. Ellis says hi, by the way. She's right next to me. Uh, in real life and in the truck. It sucks. There's only one truck that she can't be in, and that's the Freightliner. Um, the one that we use for Walmart. I do not have the ability. Oh, excuse me. Because all of our fun little doodads, like our, our little Pac-Man up there, I don't have any of those in there either, so it's a sad truck. And of course we drop back down to 55. Finally could get this big ass load up to 70 with this small truck. And now you're gonna tell me we're gonna go down to 55. Fantastic. in all these farms it's making me want to play farm simulator that is on my slate of course but I only have time for probably about two more videos that I can record today before I have to go take care of the horses and then uh, install my parents air conditioner for them I uh, bought them brand new air conditioner our customer expects the delivery very soon make sure you arrive on time well guess what the fuck you want okay let me see when did you want it there? By 2.30. Okay. 2.30, huh? Well, we have an hour and 48 minutes to get it there. And, uh, tell me it's going to be an hour and three. 
So after backing it up and everything, we should uh, just barely be able to get it on time. That's as if we don't have any uh, accidents, detours, any trouble backing it up, you know, anything that seems to be normal. If you guys aren't going to come out, I'm going to stay right in this lane, though. That guy's super slow. Why is everybody so slow? Hey, a feather like this will fly. Thank you. Blinker off. I'm telling you, everybody just wants to push it today. I think we're coming up onto the location where our the detour yeah, the detour originally was. Words are hard. Especially when you've already been talking for like two hours this morning. <laughs> where the detour started this whole entire mess, but we'll find out shortly. No, no, this is the first off-ramp where I thought we might be able to get off. Back up to 70. Today's journey has become 268 miles. By the time we get there, it's going to be past 300. And now we're down to 60. Can we make up our mind with the speed up here in Oregon? Holy shit. something. Are you going to let me in or not? You're like slowing down enough. I'm taking it. We got a, oh, we actually got a truck, uh, not the whole entire truck, the trailer with sand all on its side. Had a good day, trucker. So that was another thing that slowed us down. Great. Let's see, that says 2.30. Estimated there at two right now. We'll find out. This is where the accident was. Because we were supposed to go up, get off the exit, which was up there, bound around, and be fine. But instead, we went way the fuck that way. It's right up there on the bridge. I think they've gotten it all taken care of now. <sighs> Looks like we are still going to meet our deadline, but I was hoping to be there much sooner. Pull ourselves into Eugene and Walgreens and get a nice ice cold refreshing Coca-Cola. I'd prefer Coke Zero. That's why they're on the side of my car. I think I need to replace the spring and the gas pedal. I think I'm also I'm also used to the force that I have in my other wheel set now that I do eye racing with. I've got metal pedals on that one, and there's just a lot more to push down on. <sighs> I definitely think the spring probably needs to be redone in here. I don't know how to do that, but it's done. It's done a lot of videos. It's done a lot of miles, so it's done two years of eye racing. Okay, that's an interesting shape. Be more than one flavor. Panda. Okay. Just a couple different views. Here's the downside. I don't know where the sensor is. It's probably that back there, isn't it?
I didn't think when I took away the sensors that one would completely invisible, so it's a little bit more of a, a fun process. I might just have to put them back in the game just so I don't do this every freaking time. Is it 2 12? I got 15 minutes to park this stupid thing. Okay. It's a feather light trailer back here for some reason. Sorry. Not good with attempting to move that mouse and drive at the same time. Ridiculous drive, I know. But don't start. Two seventeen. We're gonna make it, guys. We after that giant ass detour, we still are gonna make this delivery on time. As promised by Coca-Cola. Engine off. Step out of the rig. Jesus. We made it. Oh my god. Just... What a crazy adventure. Get me unloaded. 200, 259 miles it took to deliver to the same... To the same town. It took six hours. And 46 gallons of fuel. You have current jobs that might interest me at all? Maybe some beverages? No. I don't want to go all the way down to California. <laughs> we'll save it for another time. Let's get on out here. Jeez. Um. Oh, I've got a headache now. But that is going to do it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed what you saw, we do live stream on Twitch and we are on Instagram. Those links are down there in the description below. Let us know down in the comments what you think, what you might want to see in this series, or what else you might want to see on the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. I'd love to be able to connect and chat with you all. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Um, and if you want to show support, a subscribe is always appreciated. It just lets us know that we're doing something right, and it does put a big smile on our face every day when we get to make videos for you all and we know that we have an audience who's out there but with that i thank you guys so much for coming out to this one and we'll see you in the next one bye, -bye.